You don't expect something that you do every day and have done thousands of times before to have such devastating consequences. Five years ago, the FBI caught a group of Eastern European hackers. They'd stolen $70 million and attempted to steal $220 million. How did the cyber criminals do it? They did it with a Trojan horse called Zeus. However, Zeus is just the tip of the iceberg. Banking Trojans are on the rise and they're more sophisticated than ever. Last year, for example, Dyreza, Crydex, Drydex and Emotet really came to prominence. These crimes might happen in the virtual world, but the consequences are very real, as businessman Simon Holgate found out. The end of the month's always a chore. There's so much admin, so many transactions. So it was annoying to have something else to sort out, to be honest. Even with all the other payments, this one stuck out like a sore thumb. So I called the bank to resolve it. We never have transactions that big. The bank confirmed that the money had left Simon's business account and had been paid into an unknown company in Russia. It was worth almost three quarters of his business's net income. Enough to close the company. It wasn't just the money. It wasn't the thought of my business going under. It was the look on people's faces. I'd known some of those people for 10 years. We were friends. And I was letting them go. Simon was a victim of a banking Trojan set up by a man not dissimilar to himself. A man who goes to work in a suit, who has staff working a nine to five operation, similar to most businesses, and an office, and who knows the business inside out. A man who can get into the heads of Simon's employees and manipulate them. It starts with a perfectly disguised email that he's socially engineered to be opened. To someone in your finance department, it looks like just another spreadsheet. All it takes is for them to open the attachment and enable macros. Drydex then hides in the background of their computer. When they visit an internet banking site, Drydex comes to life to capture bank details. This could be through keystroke monitoring or by taking a snapshot of their screens. The Trojan then sends this information back to the man in the suit. At that point, your bank account is at his mercy and he can drain it in seconds. It's a sobering thought. Your business is only ever a few clicks away from going under. Is anyone doing anything about this threat though? Fortunately, yes. One of the reasons we know so much about Drydex is thanks to the Fujitsu Security Operations Centre and Fujitsu's Cyber Threat Intelligence Team. They've been tracking Drydex and threats like it over several months. They also issue monthly updates on the threat landscape. However, some businesses that fall victims to attacks never recover. Simon was one of the lucky ones. He managed to resurrect his business and he's got a few old faces back in to help him. Cybersecurity is no longer just an IT department issue, but one that covers every aspect of a business, from the end user to the boardroom. Everyone must be vigilant. Protect your business from the ever-changing landscape of cyber threats with the help from security operations center analysts from Fujitsu.